Hi, I'm Rick with Bike2WayRadios.com, and this is Radio 101. The Midland MXT400 is one of the few GMRS mobile radios that is also repeater capable. The question is, how do you set up the repeater channels? It's actually quite simple and can be done very quickly once you know how to access the repeater channels. The trick is how to find and activate them. There are eight GMRS repeater frequencies. As a general rule, these frequencies are assigned to specific channels by the manufacturer, and these channel assignments are standard across the industry. To put it simply, the repeater channels are already programmed into the MXT400. All you need to do is activate them. To activate the repeater channels on the Midland MXT400, press and hold the menu button for three seconds to enter menu mode. Press the call or power level button to navigate the menu options until rep appears on the display. Turn the channel knob to choose rep on. Press the select button to confirm. Then press the scan monitor button to exit the repeater channel option. The repeater channel should now display as channel numbers 15 through 22 with the RP icon next to the number. These repeater channels will be listed after the standard GMRS channel 22. Some GMRS repeaters require a CTCSS tone or DCS code to access them. These can be easily set by assigning the specific tone or code to a repeater channel on the MXT400. To set a CTCSS tone or DCS code for any channel, turn the channel knob to the desired repeater channel. Press the TS DCS button once for CTCSS or twice for DCS. Turn the channel knob until the desired tone or code appears on the display. Press the Select button to confirm your choice. The Tone Squelch icon will appear on the display for CTCSS tones, and the DCS icon will appear on the display for DCS codes. Press the Scan Monitor button to exit the Privacy Code option. There you have it. That's all you need to do to set up a repeater channel on the Midland MXT400. I'm Rick, and this is Radio 101. Class dismissed.